this video, we'll cover how to unpack and assemble your Labconco small enclosure. You'll need at least two people. Scissors. A 5 16 inch, 3 8 inch, 7 16 inch, and 9 16 inch wrench and or nut driver set. A Phillips and flathead screwdriver. Two adjustable wrenches. A level. Protective gloves and safety glasses. In order to install your small enclosure, you'll need a base stand or base cabinet that can safely support the weight of the enclosure, and a work surface that adequately supports the work performed inside the enclosure. Epoxy and stainless steel options are available from Labconco. After your package arrives, carefully inspect the carton for any damage that may have occurred in transit. If a work surface was ordered with the enclosure, it will be shipped on top of the unit, under the enclosure, in the pallet, or packaged separately. If the work surface is on top of the enclosure, remove it now and place it aside in a safe location. Now, remove the cardboard box by detaching the staple securing the carton to the pallet. Once the small enclosure is unboxed, inspect again for any shipping damage. If damage has occurred, contact the freight carrier that delivered the small enclosure to file a claim. Be sure to photograph any damage you notice. If any parts are missing, contact a Labconco associate for assistance. Next, if a telescoping base stand or base cabinet was purchased, inspect the package and unbox. This video features the assembly of both a base stand with casters and a standard telescoping base stand. Casters arrive factory installed. Models without casters include four standard leveling legs. Legs are packaged inside the base stand and secured to the pallet. You should find four legs and associated hardware. Unpackage and set aside. Remove the legs and unpack all materials, taking special care not to scratch the legs. You'll install the legs while the base stand is still secured to the pallet. The telescoping base stand can be adjusted to accommodate a final height of 27.5 to 34.5 inches and is adjustable in 1 inch increments. Determine your desired work surface height. Remember that the work surface will add around 1 inch of height. Next, slide one leg extension into the base stand corner post and attach with a 5 16 inch by 2 and a quarter inch long bolt. Flat washer lock washer and acorn nut as shown. Ensure that each acorn nut faces inward. Double check final height measurements once the leg extension is installed. Repeat for the remaining three corner posts, ensuring the leg extension is set to the same height at all four corners. Securely tighten all leg bolts. Follow the same process for base stands with casters but ensure that the caster wheels are pointing outward as shown in the installation photo. Next, use a 9 16th inch socket and ratchet or crescent wrench to loosen the stand from the pallet. Using two people, carefully lift the stand from the pallet and turn upright on the ground. Move the base stand to its final location and make sure it's level. Using an adjustable wrench, adjust the feet of the telescoping base stand as shown to level it. Multiple feet may need to be adjusted, ensuring the stand is level from front to back and side to side. Now unbox the work surface. Begin by inspecting and removing its cardboard box. If you discover any damage, take photographs and contact the freight carrier to file a claim. Use caution not to scratch the work surface as you open the box. Before setting the work surface in its final place, apply structural double-sided tape structural adhesive or silicone sealant to the top surface of the base stand. This will secure the work surface to the base stand. The work surface may be quite heavy, so ensure at least two people are available to unpackage and move it into place, following your organization's policies for lifting heavy objects. Carefully place the work surface onto the base stand, ensuring the front of the work surface is flush with the front of the base stand. If you're not using a Labconco work surface, ensure the installation surface is non-porous and resistant to the protocols that will be performed within the enclosure. 
Now that the base is prepared, you can place the small enclosure onto it. First, remove the screws that are securing the enclosure to the pallet. Use a number two Phillips screwdriver to loosen the enclosure. Next, use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the left and right side airfoils by removing the two screws securing the airfoil to the frame. Four mounting screws will already be installed in the work surface. Ensure the screws are slightly raised, at least 1 8 inch, between the head of the screw and the work surface. Locate the front and rear flanges on the enclosure. These will insert over the four bolts in the work surface top. Next, prepare to lift the small enclosure. The enclosure is heavy, so use extreme care while lifting to prevent injury. Using a lift table is recommended. Slide the enclosure onto a lift table carefully, using the included cardboard sheet. To prevent damage to the enclosure, do not lift the enclosure by its front or side airfoils. Raise the lift table and position it close to the base stand. Next, lift the back of the enclosure onto the work surface, clearing the front work surface screws. Then, slide it back until the enclosure's rear flange engages the rear mounting bolts on the work surface. Next, sit the front of the enclosure down so that the airfoil mounting phalanges engage on the mounting bolts in front of the work surface. Tighten the four bolts, then reattach the side airfoils. Continue with the installation of the left and right side cord and cable pass-through plugs. Solid plugs are provided if no cables will be used. Pass-through plugs are provided if cables will be passed into the enclosure. Insert each plug into the back wall from inside the enclosure. If your model includes a UV light, proceed with setup of the UV protective panel hooks. Instructions for installation are shown on the front panel of the enclosure. The hooks are included with the enclosure, but must be flipped over and reinstalled. After installation, test that the front panel can securely rest on the enclosure between uses with the storage hooks protruding through the top of the protective panel. Remove the UV installation and airfoil stickers. Connect the power cord into the back of the unit. Verify the enclosure's power requirements noted on the rear serial label and plug the cord into an appropriate wall outlet. Note, some enclosures may require a separate power cable depending on local electrical requirements. Contact a Lab Conco associate for details. Finish by testing the enclosure for operation. Test the interior light. The blower should turn on when the rocker switch is activated. Check to make sure a static pressure reading above zero inches is visible in the differential pressure gauge. Turn the light and blower switches off. Finally, test the UV functionality by placing the UV panel over the access opening. Turn on the UV light. It will operate for a set duration, which is adjusted using the controls on the left side of the enclosure's front panel. Before initiating any work, have your enclosure certified by a qualified certifier. If your enclosure is a paramount ductless fume hood, your certifier will install the filters that came with your unit. For other enclosures, filters arrive factory installed. Certification involves a careful inspection of the enclosure's airflows and calibration of the enclosure's airflow monitor if included. The certifier will also conduct a leak scan of the filtration system to ensure that it's operating as designed. The initial certification should be conducted before the enclosure's first use, and again at least once every year, or more often if required by any relevant regulatory bodies. Users should also familiarize themselves with the included manual. Upon installation, register your enclosure by scanning the Lab Conco info tag on the serial tag. The QR code will lead to resources specific to your small enclosure on labconco.com, where you can quickly register your product or obtain model specific information like your factory test report, IQOQ documents, and the latest copy of your user's manual. Installation of your new small enclosure from LabConco is now complete.